Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back app and in today's video we're going to create a new pipeline inside Bitbucket that will use the back app container to accelerate your continuous delivery and continuous integration projects. So here I am in my Bitbucket account, I'm going to create a new repository, I'm going to create a new project, I'm going to call this testing my pipeline. And I'm going to give it uh, as the name of, of the repository as well. This will be a public repository. And when you create this, one of the options is pipelines. If you open this and click create your first pipeline, I'm going to select starter pipeline, which will give me a example to use, but I'm going to clean this. And if you go to github.com slash back app slash parse dash CLI, here you'll find a CI CD, continuous integration and continuous delivery folder, where I'm going to put a few examples that you can use. So here you have a Bitbucket pipeline YAML file. I'm going to copy this value and paste it here. So if you scroll up, you'll see that the image that we're using is back for app slash B4A CLI, the latest one. This will be available here in the Docker Hub. If you search for back for app, is the first one. On the last video, I showed you how to use it from your machine, but here we are going to compile the uh, CLI code to use the kernel of the distribution being used inside Bitbucket. So here are all the commands that we are going to uh, execute. And when you click commit file and click pipelines, you see that uh, your pipelines will be executed. So if you open this, you will be able to see every single step inside that YAML file being executed and its uh, success status. So right now I'm running a app to get update and a few uh, app to get uh, installed that will install all the dependencies that I need to compile my code. If at any point you want to see what uh, the uh, common output is, you can just click it and it will give you a real time uh, output of that one comment. Right now I'm uh, getting uh, the go in this uh, specific version and installing it. Also, I will clone the back for app uh, CLI uh, project from GitHub and compile it. And at the very end, uh, if your uh, pipeline executed well, it will be green up here. If you expand the B4A version, you see 331 is the latest one and this executed well. So right now, if you want to deploy code or create new projects, depending on the commits that you do on, Git, on Bitbucket, all you have to do is come back to source, click the pipelines YAML file, click edit, and here add the comments that you need to execute after the build is done. So before a new, before a deploy, what, you name it. Whatever you need to do, all you have to do is keep adding comments to that uh, YAML file and commit at the end. The pipeline will be re-executed. And if everything goes well, every time you commit to the uh, branch that you choose, in my case is the master branch, you can see on line number four, uh, everything will be executed and deployed automatically for you. So I, I, think, I hope you like this video and hope to see you on the next ones. See you soon. Bye-bye.